This is how you do a methylene blue salt bath for your gummy bear. No, I'm joking. For your goldfish. Um, so these are my goldfish, Bubba and Brad, and today I'm going to give a methylene blue salt bath. The first thing you want to do is you want to get a separate bucket and with tank water, uh, you want to fill it up, you know, as much water as you need for them to comfortably fit in the bucket without, you know, flopping on their side and not having enough water to swim around in. Uh, for these fish that ends up being roughly around, you know, two gallons in this, in this five gallon bucket. The next thing you want to do is you want to add your salt. I like to add between one to two tablespoons per gallon of salt. If your fish are smaller or weaker or not fairly, you know, used to salt baths, maybe go for one tablespoon per gallon. If they're a little more, uh, you know, big and resilient, then you can do two tablespoons per gallon. Uh, then you want to add your methylene blue. I like to add between one fourth to one half teaspoon per gallon methylene blue. Uh, this is like about a little over two gallons, so I added a little under one teaspoon. Um, then you want to add in your fish. Be very careful. Uh, don't grasp them too hard. Uh, if they're a thrasher, make sure you do have a good handle on them, but you want to, you want to be very careful in, uh, in lowering them in. Uh, my fish are generally pretty chill, pretty calm with me because, you know, I, I feed them by hand a lot. I interact with them a lot. Sometimes I do a little flipping out here and there, but generally they're pretty good. Uh, you want to leave them in the bath for around 15 to 30 minutes. Uh, then you want to get them out. And as you can see, Brad is being a little bit of a little bit of a flipper right here. He's flipping his tail all over the place. Uh, but yeah, 15, 30 minutes, take them out. If you notice them being a little like slow going on their side, flipping over on their back, that means they're, they're not handling the bath very well. That means you want to get them out early. They should be just fine. Um, but if they're on their back or on, on their side for an extended period of time, that can mean that this is like, it's, it's too stressful for them. For them. Uh, after you take them out of the bath, you'll notice they'll be on the ground and they look like they're sick or they're, they're stressed and they kind of are a little stressed. Uh, but give it 15, 30 minutes, they'll be perked back up, swimming all around just fine. Now, I know there's going to be a bunch of people in the comments asking, but Luke, why would you want to do this? Why do you do this? And they're probably not going to watch the video to the end because right now I'm going to tell you. Um, so the reason you want to do a methylene salt bath is you don't have to do this, but it is a good treatment for external fungal infections, external bacterial infections, protozoan infections, and even some parasitic infections. Uh, it's also a good preventative measure for all these as well. So if you're suspecting there's a possibility of some sort of, you know, parasite or, or pro protozoa on your on your goldfish that's negatively affecting them, uh, you can give them a couple of these methylene blue salt baths, uh, you know, one to two days apart, and that should kind of decrease the parasitic load or decrease the protozoan load uh, on the fish and, you know, make, make them a little bit healthier.